you all. So me and my mom just left that. We are in the mall and y'all <laughs> have my name mama up in here. It is like packed up in here, y'all. So I'm trying to see get my grandson some tunes. His father want me to pick him up. I don't know why you don't like these. These are so cute. They're rainbows. They're supposed to be plastic. These are cute. Oh, they're 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 cute. My Ugg slides. I'm looking for some kids' Tims. Kids? Yeah. And in black, four and a half. I think the smallest we ever know. Well, um, like your well, they might have them here. But they ain't gonna have them for that price no more. Why not? It's Christmas. But they might. It's Christmas. See, look, the Tim's for us is even one twenty nine. Okay. So you wanted him to get a pair in black. I like these. Oh, well, here they go. Low top. These are cute, the brown ones. Those are 119. I don't wear my ones with the heel. The real high ones. I don't even wear those no more. That was before I broke my foot. <laughs> Where's the kids at? Are they over here, Ma? I see the boot. I don't see the. Pro they fifty nine. I said they might be. I said I'm fifty seven dollars. So you better get you some. Look at them in pink. Yeah. I said, look at them in pink. Look at them in gray. Buy one, get a second pair, half off. Oh, they nice. This is the color that you had got me. Here for my other shoes. Right here. Uh -huh. That's Wallabies. I got, I got them for Umar, and I got one for a pair for him for $20. He got a white pair. Wait, let me see if I can find Scoot his stuff first before I start talking about me. These are little kids over here. They even have the dude, but they don't call them dude. They even have the little shoes for Avery. They have the little shoes here for Avery. You're sixty-four dollars a bit. That's something that you got on. I wonder if you want to go to Avery. I don't know. I don't see them. Yeah, I'm looking them for him. They don't have a black. Well, he don't have none. Yeah, but Avery is so hard on well, his stuff. That's why you got them more than one. Yeah, I don't want to buy him one and one of the same boot. I want to get him a different pair of boots. Well, let Kevon buy, buy him one pair. Of These are from Kevon. So you can't buy him another kid for his birthday. Right, but I wanted to get him black. But do and they don't have his size anyway. I have to ask if they got more in the back, but they don't even have a size. He need a four and a half. He wear four, so I'm going to get him a four and a half. Where's somebody that works here? That's what I said. They don't have it in their stores. Look at these berries. Uh huh. They 109. I even like these. The green with the beige. They are so cute. My, it's so many people. That is, so, that is such a popular shoe. So I can't be the only person. I got those. 
When you bought the black I ended up buying them from uh, TJ Maxx. For how much? I don't even remember. What's up, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Well, it's good morning for me. I am getting started early. I've been up really since 5 with the dogs. My husband is out of town. Usually, he takes them to the bathroom when he's here. And so, they're on his schedule for when he gets up in the morning to go to work. So, your girl was up early this morning at 2 and then again at 5. Now, my oldest dog, who will be three in March, he doesn't have to go out like that. But ever since we've had Willow, and for those of y'all who don't know, we got another um, puppy. I got her on November the 15th. She is a white Wheaton miniature schnauzer. And this is my first really having a female dog. I had one before I mentioned in another video. She was a little beagle, but I had her less than two weeks. So I really don't count her as I've had any type of experience with a female dog. But Bishop is wanting to go out more because he sees us taking her out. I don't know if it's a little jealous thing or what the situation is. So two, I was up because literally I'm getting up with her every three hours to take her to the bathroom three to four hours to take her to the bathroom. But she's in her kennel right now. If you heard her make that little sound, she's trying to weigh on your sympathy. Don't listen to it. She just pooped in my living room um, by my Christmas tree. And I'm so glad I did not mop my floors yet. But I don't know. My dogs got housebroken really, really fast. I thought that girls, even when they said potty and regular girls, like little girls, not dogs, was quicker than guys. But I don't know what's going on with her. So she still, I would say, hasn't been here quite a month. But she's just like, she's not even trying to go to the door when she's in the house. And we're taking her out the same way every time. To let her know that she needs to go. So she's in her kennel right now. Um, but when she goes outside. She knows what she's supposed to do. But I don't know about why when she comes in the house. She's trying to go to the bathroom in the house. But we ain't having that. We are not about to have that. So anyway since I got a lot that I have to do. And I want to get it done. And I want this video to be too too long. I am. Or have her in the kennel for a little bit. Not the entire time, but for a little bit. So she can learn her lesson. But anyway. So yesterday, me and my mom, we went. And got some Christmas stuff. I actually went and got some Christmas stuff Friday night. And then I went again with my mom on Sunday. I mean, excuse me, Saturday. So that is my first starting with Christmas. I hadn't bought anything until this weekend. And y'all, I'm practically done. I just got a few more things to get. Um, and then the rest, I'm doing cash. So yeah, I'm about practically done. I think I got two more gifts to get. And that's it. So, anyway, let me show y'all what I got for my granddaughter for Christmas. So let me get all her stuff. And please excuse the house because I got to straighten up. It's looking crazy. Say hi to Black Sam. I just love him. When I say the boy is decked out in his champagne outfit. Champagne boots. He just decked. <laughs> Anyway, all right, let me show y'all some of the things that I got for my granddaughter for this Christmas. And I don't have to worry about her looking at my video. She's four. Actually, she does look at my video sometimes since she doesn't live here because she want to see me. But I'll just tell Kenny to make sure he don't let her watch this video. All right, so first thing I want to show you guys that I got her. I bought this from 
Walmart. This is a Leapfrog Count Along Cash Register Deluxe. It's so cute. She has at her house everything from kitchens. She got two kitchen sets, Barbie Townhouse, Barbie uh, Van, all you know, all this stuff. She got a whole bunch of toys. <laughs> but that's how it was with my kids. We always bought a whole bunch of toys. And really, I definitely bought a whole bunch of toys with my first son. Um, so she's the only child right now. So, this is some of the little things that go. Open for business. So, I think she's going to enjoy that. In the veggie aisle, I'm shopping around in the veggie aisle. Bishop done came over here. He thinks it's a toy for him. He's down here. Y'all can't see him. And so, it has accounts One. numbers. Two. And then clean up aisle two. <laughs> wow, you're a super shopper. So it has coins and it has the fruits Shop and vegetables and eggs. And it got a little basket here. So oops, scan again. Best ever. I think she's gonna like this. So this was like on sale for twenty dollars. And so I got that for her. Turn it off. Okay. The next thing I got Ayana was since she's four, she just turned four in September. This is Barbie Chelsea. She's a little Barbie doll, little miniature Barbie dolls. I checked with my son to make sure she didn't have it. Uh, she has Skipper and she has Barbie, but she doesn't have Barbie Chelsea. So this is a little ballerina. And the little ballerina outfit. And it has the whole ballerina situation going on here. And um, I know she's going to like this because she likes... I bought her a tutu for her birthday from the uh, children's place. And she wears it all the time with the pearls and stuff. So that's that. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for that. I'm probably not going to be able to give y'all prices. Okay. Um, let's see what else I got for y'all. Okay, so she is crazy about Frozen. Rightly so. <laughs> and so I got her the Frozen headphones. And these were, I remember, $19.99. And it has the parental volume limiter to protect the hearing and look at the little snowflakes on the top y'all and it's so doggone cute it's so cute okay so i got that for her and i know she's gonna love it because every time i've been around her she will have her little headphones i mean she has her little tablet with her and i don't know if she has headphones i don't remember seeing her with headphones but because we would hear her with her little thing in the car Alright, I also got her a Barbie with the micro braids. Y'all see the micro braids? Isn't she beautiful? So, this was like $8 and some change. And they show all the ones in the back that you can get. But my son said to send him a picture of her because he thinks she has one with braids. And we want to make sure it's not the same one. Because if so, I'll go and replace it for a different one. She got her little shades here. And then I got some more Barbie Chelsea. This is Barbie Dreamtopia. She's a little mermaid with the purple hair. This is like $4. I think it was like $4.99. And here's another one. This is, uh, she has a swimsuit on. So she got a bathing suit on, on this one here. And then, for the little girl with the bathing suit, either one of them, she can change and put on one of these little outfits. So, this has the little accessories. This is the birthday girl one here with the present and everything. I thought that was cute. I'm going to look and see if I can find another outfit for her other little one since she has two of them. 
And then I bought her another Barbie Chelsea. And she has her car. And so, this is for a little light-skinned sister here. And it has a little doggy in there. My granddaughter loves uh, dogs. So, I thought she would like this as well. I think this was like $9.99. Okay, so then I bought her this. I got this now. This was from Kohl's. So I went to go pay my Kohl's bill, and I went ahead and bought this for her. This was, how much was this? This was $9, and because she likes doggies, I thought she would like Snoopy, and she doesn't have a Snoopy, and every little child got to remember the Charlie Brown Christmas. We have it on video, but we don't have the book. So I thought this was a cute little book for her mother and father to read to her, the little story. And I'm going to go ahead and sign and put something nice in there. So she'll always have that with her little book collection. All right. Also going back to Frozen, because she loves Frozen. I got her a microphone, y'all. So... Look. There's a boy. You need to follow it. You're not a boy. You're just a ring in my ear. And if I heard you, which I don't. Mm -hmm. I should not get copyright for this, but... Everyone I've ever loved is here with an one. Y'all, when we went to Disney World, me... Yaya and Jackie, we enjoyed that little show they had. It was so good. I recorded the entire thing. Well, this is Sing Along Mic Along, excuse me, Sing Along Microphone. And it sings, uh, you can sing along to Into the Unknown from the movie. And it has a working microphone. And I think I paid maybe about $9.99 for that, something like that. $9.99. $12.99, something like that. Oops, let me turn it off. I've been playing this thing, y'all. She gonna need new batteries by the time she come here. Okay. Bishop is looking. Okay. Also from Walmart, I got my grandson. It has the blue camouflage in the middle. It's a Casio watch. It is waterproof. Um, water resistant. And I thought that since he'd be going on 10, let's start him off with his little watch here. Um, he used to have a little watch, uh, a digital watch, but he needs this watch here to make sure he knows the time. Lord, that thing's back on. It was $15. I got it on sale for $9.99. But when my sons were little, I used to always buy them watches. And so he'll be 10 next month. So... It's about time for him to get this watch. See how well he take care of it. He take, what, take good care of it. Then next year I'll buy him a better watch. Okay, so I got something in here for my dogs. Bishop, I, I, he trying to get this Snoopy. <laughs> Y'all, Bishop think it's all about him. I'm going to have to put this back because he thinks this is his. What's this one? Oh, that's one of the biggest supplies for us. So I'm putting this back in here. So I got this right here. Bishop about to lose his mind. This is for Bishop. It's a Christmas doggy. Now I can't have it today. And then I got this for Willow because she like to chew on stuff and she's still teething. This is a Christmas Santa Claus. This was $12.99, and the other one was $12.99 as well, but with my Kohl's cash, trust and believe, I did not even pay $12.99 for that. Um, okay. My mom, yesterday, when she was with me, she got... This little princess set for Yaya. And it has glasses, a blow dryer, a pocketbook, some curlers, bracelets, hair combs. 
um, fake lipstick, comb, little slippers for her to put on. She is very much a little, little diva girl. So I'm going to get some tissue paper to put in here and uh, put this little gift in here. I might wrap it because you can see it. I might wrap it. But my mom got that for her last year. She got her uh, one of those heads, you know, like the little Barbie heads that you can um, do their hair. But she got her that. She bought Avery a coat. I don't know. Did I show y'all the coat? I have to show y'all the coat that she bought Avery for Christmas. Okay, so last but not least, as far as the toys. And I only really got toys for my granddaughter because of the simple fact that she is four. I got her a Care Bear. Yeah, how about y'all? I bought a Care Bear for her, my son said, with her toys last year. So I was like, oh, well, she can have two of them. He said, you bought, I said, what color I got her? He said, pink. <laughs> so I'm going to take this back. And he said, to be honest with you, she really don't even play with that Care Bear. So he said... Because I told him I was going to get the LOL doll. So he said, yeah, if I could go back and change it for the LOL doll. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I'll see how much was that Care Bear. Let's see. Care Bear. Let's see how much that is. Okay, so the Chelsea dolls were actually $3.94. Um, they were on sale. And the Barbie doll was $6.88, the big one with the locks. Okay, but then there was one that was $4.97. And then the ballerina set was $14.97. The microphone was $9.97. The headphones was $19.99. The Care Bear was $13.88. So I'm going to probably see if my son could take it back, y'all. If not, it's going to have to wait till Monday when I get off of work because I'm tired. I'm not going out the door today. All right. Now, let me show y'all what I bought um, my granddaughter for his clothes. like stuff everywhere. I'm telling you, I was so tired when I came home last night. I got home about something to 10. I was, when I say I was done, I, we had been out since about 1. I left out my house at 1 o'clock, I think. 1, 1 30. Okay, so I got this for Avery. Now, his father gave me money, so he was going to go with us Christmas shopping, but he ended up decided to work overtime so he just cashed out me the money so this is some of the things that I picked up with my son's money uh, for his son so I got this Adidas hoodie from Gabe's I don't know if y'all got a Gabe's where y'all at but they have very affordable clothes at Gabe's this sweat hood was how much this was a sweat hood the first okay, so this sweat hood was $21.99 from Gabe's. I got that. And he could wear this with black pants, blue pants, green, because it got so many different colors in there. So I got those for him with his father's money. And to go with it, I bought him some black jeans. They got holes and faded and little paint marks on it. Style everybody wearing now. These jeans were $14.99. 
And then I bought this sweat hood. This Adidas sweat hood. And this sweat hood was $19.99. I thought that was cute. And what else I got them from that store? I got them this fleece hoodie. It's called Brooklyn Vest. And this was $11.99. And when I say y'all, it is so heavy. Cause, and we love to wear fleece, like fleece jackets and stuff like that. So, you can never have too many of those. Alright, and what else his father got him? And he said he was going to go get him some more stuff next week. Let's see. He also got him... From Cave as well. This is a Warriors um, sweatsuit with the pants. The pants were $14.99, so they were $15 for the pants. And then the top, which you already know, <laughs> okay? Love the Golden State Warriors. Uh, this was $9.99 for the top. Avery loves anything that's basketball, basketball related, he loves. Um, also got him some uh, Mandalorian boxers. It was a set of two. He loves the way these feel against his skin. Avery has eczema, so this keeps him from itching because of the material. So this was $6.99 for two. Okay, so that's all that oh, and here's one more thing I got him that his dad gave me money for. Uh this is Puma t-shirts. So it's uh, a pack of three crew neck t-shirts. Uh they were $7.99. I like in the winter time because Avery has asthma. And his asthma really acts up in the winter months. So you have to make sure the keeping him from getting sick is to make sure he's dressed warm. So I like to put this up underneath his shirt, a long jong top underneath his shirt, and things like that. Um, so that, and then the last thing his dad um, with his money, y'all, and he gives the money to me because he know I I can shop, I can get, I can get him a bang for his buck. Got him some Tims. We went now. Let me tell you the crazy thing with the Tims. We went to I don't know how many stores looking for Tims for this boy. We went to Champs, Foot Locker, Journeys, um, Rack Room. Um, it was one more store we went to. Um, ended up going to Finish Line. We were at the mall. It was packed in the mall, y'all. That's why I did not finish recording. I started out recording. It was so many people in there. You had to make sure you was watching where you were going. You would be bumping into people. It was just too many people in there to be trying to record. You got your mask on. Some people did not have masks on. For the majority of people I've seen, they had masks on. But there was those few crazy people who did not have a mask on. Um, so I got him. Well, my son got him some Tims. They were a buck ten, y'all. A buck ten. I was just tripping. My mom was just like... That's how much things cost nowadays. I just couldn't wrap my head around getting Tim's for somebody going on 10 for $110. But my son's in there. When I came home, he was like, yeah, that's what I was expecting for it to be about that much. $110. Um, so they look kind of big. She said they ran kind of big. Bishop, leave my plan alone. She said they run kind of big. So I, he wears a four. So I said, let's get a four and a half because for all that amount of money, you don't want them not to be fitting him next year. So these are four and a half. We wanted black, but they did not have black. You would have to order black. So I said, if these are too big, then I'll have him have her to order a pair for him 
in black. I just wanted to make sure he had them in time for Christmas. I'm also going to check the mall by my job um, tomorrow um, when I get off of work. So, I was going to go on my lunch break, but then I thought, I got to go pick up my grandson on my lunch break. So, I can't do all that on my lunch break. So, okay, so that was Avery, okay, from his dad. Now, I went and got Avery some things from Old Navy. We were going to go to Target. By the time we left out of Old Navy, I was just like, my, my legs are hurting. Let's go get something to eat, and I'm going to drop you off. Like I was like, I cannot do Target today. So I got him some pajamas from there. No, actually, these were from Burlington. Yeah, we went to Burlington after we left Old Navy. So, and then we were going to go to Target, and I was just like, I can't. <laughs> um... So these right here were from Burlington. They were $8.99 for the set. I would have got him more than one set, but they did not have any more in his size. The stuff was like picked over as far as uh, his size for clothing. I got him some more underwear. Why? Because you can never have too many underwear. <laughs> That's at any age. Okay? I buy myself mad underclothes. Because you... <laughs> this is That's a necessity. So this right here is three packs, though, for $6.99. So actually, this was a better deal than Gabe because it was $2.99 for, uh, I mean, two pair for $6.99. And here I got an extra pair, three pair, for the same price. But I guess those because that has a character on it and these don't. But I got him these. Then I got him a pair of jeans. Which I got to get him a shirt to go with this. So I got him a pair of jeans. And they're like. See how they are? They're like gray with black in it. And these were. What is the price? $12.99 for those. Okay well I'm going to let you out. And if I let you out. You better not do nothing else in my house. Or it's going to be on and popping. Okay, so then I went to Old Navy, and I got him these pants. They were $29.99, but it was buy one, get one, half off. So these I paid, and I think it was a little overpriced, to be honest with you, $30 for them. But since I was buying pants that were $12.99 and $14.99, but these were $30, okay? They're black jeans. And then I got him an Old Navy long sleeve shirt that says Old Navy. And this was on sale for 7 bucks. So I got this a little bigger than what I normally would get him. I got him, this is a 14 to a 16. This is an extra large. Just because it looked like it runs small. Because he wears a 10, 10 through a 12. But, because um, all his 8s. That he had last year, he they are too small. So I was like giving them away. Like, and I still got stuff that I need to uh put in tubs and donate to somebody because they are way too small for him. So sometimes he wear them in the house, like if he ain't going anywhere, he'll wear them, he'll put them on after he get out the shower. But somebody else could use those clothes. Okay, so then I bought him. This is the ones I got half price. So these were also $30. But I ended up paying $15 for them because the black ones were buy one, get one, 50% uh, off. So this was $15 for these pants here. And I figured that could go with that Adidas sweat hood that his father got him from Gabe's. Okay. And then also, I bought him a Tommy Hilfiger black jacket as well. But, because his other jacket was getting a little too small for him, and that was an early Christmas gift that I just let him go ahead and wear, you know, now, because he needed to. Okay, so far as my granddaughter, so I'm just going to get every some more socks, and I'm looking for some sweaters for him, um, and then he's going to be done. That's why I said I'm almost done. Okay, so I bought this little coat. For a uh, little red riding hood, I thought it thought it was so cute. I got red for my granddaughter. This coat 
was $44 from Old Navy. What's it? Yeah, $44.99. It's real small on the bottom. So this is the little coat here. And it has the little ears up at the top. I thought that was so stinking cute. Okay. And then keeping with the red theme, I got these little sweats with little pink hearts on them. And the matching hoodie to go with it. So she now, my son says she's in a 5T now. So I got this for her. So the top was $22.99. And the bottoms were $12.99. Now, does that make any sense? $22.99 for the top and $12.99 for the pants. Like, why is the top double the amount? All right, well, I'm coming. Okay, and so this right here, let me let her out. I'm telling you, don't come out here cutting up. All right. Yeah, I'm just talking about that. Okay, this right here is the... Uh, Dress. My mom picked it up. I thought it was so cute. So she picked it up. I thought this would be cute with some tights. And this was $24.99. So let me tell you the whole situation with Old Navy. Old Navy had signs up everywhere saying 50% off, 40% off, buy one, get one half off, 30% off. You get up to the registers. Now, mind you, I haven't been to Old Navy on that side of town in maybe about six months. Because I go there often for Avery. Not really myself. So, that one said it three months ago. They changed it where you have to self-check yourself. And my mother was like, yeah, I was trying to tell you that me and your sister came here. And we had to self-check. Now, mind you, I don't mind a self-check. But let me show you, let me tell y'all the craziness at Old Navy, okay? Y'all got to do better, okay, Old Navy? Because it made me never want to come back to their stores. If all of them are doing self-checkouts now, we get up to the register. Nothing is ringing up as it should as far as the percentage, okay? You got signs everywhere. I'm thinking that this dress is going to be 40% off. It rang up as $24.99. I was just like, hold on. Something's not right. These things are ringing up regular price. Same thing with this red outfit. This red outfit was over there where it said 40% off. Rang up the same price. Um, this same thing. Okay. Um, I got her. I think my mom dropped these. I bought. So I'm going to have to see if I can find her something to go with this. Some black, I had some black leggings. Um, they were five dollars. And why? Tell me why you gonna come over here and try to bite my toes in my slipper. <laughs> Y'all, the tea that is real. So this little um checkered shirt was what's the price for this? Y'all, I don't even see a price tag. It sure enough wasn't free. Okay, I don't even see the price tag. Okay. Um, so, I, like I said, I got to get us something to go with these. Okay. I had a corduroy outfit. And I'm going to post it. I had a corduroy outfit with some rust color corduroys. Well, like a, like a brown corduroys. With a beige, cute little sweater. They was ringing up $30, $30. I was just like, I oh, know. I went to the back I, and went to go take pictures of stuff. To prove that the stuff was really supposed to be discounted. They're supposed to honor that. If you got things in the wrong place, people shopping, it's Christmas time. 
how you going to say, oh, well, that sign wasn't supposed to be there, or that sign, it really wasn't supposed to be meant for that, but you got the items right by the sign, like, okay, um, and then all the items had the alarms on them, which we can't take the alarms off, so you're ringing up stuff and bagging it, only to find out that it got alarms and stuff on it. So you still have to get a salesperson to come and take the alarms off of everything. It took so long getting out that store. I said, I'm about working harder. I mean, smarter, not harder. Okay? This is ridiculous. This does not work. Like, it was ridiculous. And, and you know, when you're shopping and it's crowded and you've been going from store to store, the last thing you want to do is dealing with that. And then the stuff wasn't scanning at all. Like some of it was scanned, some of it wasn't scanning. Even he couldn't figure it out. He was trying to put in the codes. And thank you, he was nice. And we weren't mad at him. I said, the system that y'all doing does not work. Because like my mom said to him, we still need your assistance. So how does it self-checkout if we need you to come over here and take the alarms off of every item and help us scan because your scanners ain't working properly? It was a mess. Anyway, this right here I thought was so cute. My mom picked this up. I was looking for a hat and scarf set to go with her coat, but I thought, you know what? She can wear that with that, or she can wear it with another jacket. But it's so cute. She's so deeperish. It has the gloves, the scarf, and the hat with the little ball for $7.99. I thought that was so cute. All right, so I think that's it. And I did not let you out, little girl, for you to come over here and be all up under my feet. It was just a crazy day yesterday with just different things. That old Navy situation being one. So, also, I was looking to get her some pajamas. But the pajamas that the, the size that they told me that she wears now, they look so long. They had the onesie pajamas, and I was going to get those from her. But then I thought, they look so long. So I ended up putting those back. It said $10, but who knows? I probably would have got to the register, and they would have said those were 30 It was just ridiculous. I ended up spending at that store... $170. I ended up spending $190 at the other store. Okay. Alright, I'm put all this stuff here. Back over here. Hang on, y'all. Willow! Y'all, you ever had a dog, when you walk, she's biting your ankles? Like, she is just a mess. Like, she's biting my ankles while I'm walking. Move! I did not let you out the kennel for you to be over here in my way. That's the main reason why I said I was not going to take her out. Because I knew that she was going to be a little bugaboo. She cute as can be, y'all. But I promise you, I have never had a dog to act the way this dog acts. Like, I really hadn't. And I bought her from a co-worker of mine. And she showed me the picture. So when you see her, you're like, oh my gosh. She's so cute. Because I think she had more males. She breeds these dogs. I think she had more males than she had females. So she had one that looked just like Bishop, which was a, a party. He's considered a party um, schnauzer. And at first I was going to get that one. But then she had two little white ones. And... One was already sold. So she says, uh, it's the, if you want the female, it's the party or the little white one. I said, you know what? 
let me get the right one because she is so adorable. She showed me what the mom, look, y'all, they all up under my feet, like, right? <laughs> she showed me what the mom looked like. I was like, oh, she's so cute. Her name's Zoe. The father is more look like Bishop. So they had white and black dogs and white dogs, okay? So <laughs> this little girl personality, she is rough. When I say she is savage, <laughs> she looks adorable, <laughs> but she is a little tomboy. Like, she fights more than Bishop ever did. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, move on out the way. All right, so... That's it for the Christmas haul. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, and then I bought just some bags. They had bags there. How much was these bags? $129. I got this bag, this bag. Oh, my gosh. Would y'all move? <laughs> Trust me, I love my dog. And I talk sweet to them. I know every time I get on a video, it seems like I'm fussing with them. But it's like, so, it's like, they're like kids. As soon as I get on a video, they want to act up. These were 99 cents. So I got this one. This one. Tis the season to be jolly. And this one I thought was so cute. I'm definitely going to put some of Yaya stuff in this because she likes dogs. And so it says, am I in trouble? So yeah, and then I got bags from last year, but I don't I don't remember how many of those are actual Christmas bags because I keep my bags, y'all, and or some of them might be also birthday bags. So I was like, just in case I don't have enough bags, um, and then I have some wrapping paper, but I went ahead and bought some more wrapping paper, just two rolls. Um, they were. $6.99, but they won't sell for $2.99. So I just got these two here. One say ho, ho, ho. And then the other one just has Frosty the Snowman all over it. All right. What are you doing? Okay. Huh? Y'all, I promise you. Let me come back. I'll come back. She's a sunny and pee. <laughs> okay, y'all. So now I'm back. I had to clean it up. Wash my hands. Throw her in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah. So. Hang on. Let me put these toys. Let me move y'all over here. These toys right here. Throw them all in the bag because they got to go in the closet. All the stuff. Avery will be here. So, far as with Avery, far as toys, I don't know if I said that. If y'all probably like, well, why y'all ain't giving him no toys? Avery is so different from. What you sniffing over there? Huh? Oh, I thought she peed over there too. Wait. Bishop smelling. I'm like, you smell something I don't know about? Um. Hang on, y'all. <laughs> I'm just trying to move this stuff out the way. From the white witch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what her name should be. <laughs> um. Hang on, let's go around here. Wait, y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, let me um, show y'all, because I'm actually going to finish up this video. And then I think I'll come back and I will do a clean with me, um, or not clean with me, straighten up with me type video. So I had to straighten up my bedroom and everything. My husband is out of town. He went to the Panthers uh, game with 
his cousin and I think a co-worker. Um, so he's uh, in Charlotte. He'll be back later on today. But anyway, I'm going to try to clean up and have everything all nice and clean. So Monday when my grandson is back, I ain't had to worry about it. All right. So if you go to Walmart right now, they have a bunch of stuff on sale for the Pioneer Woman. I don't know if y'all like her or watch her. But I watch her. I love getting recipes from her. The girl can cook. And I like her stuff. So, I'm from New York. But I love country stuff. I've always loved country stuff. Even when my husband was in the military. When we lived in Georgia. I would buy like little country stuff. And I would say that my decorations. Not, not decorations. My decor in my house it's sort of like modern, farm style, um, and I kind of like that. I like a lot of the woods. I like the all natural colors. I like baskets and stuff like that. Um, my husband said that when we retired, we were going to go contemporary. But, you know, I don't even know about all that. I just know that I like bright, uh, um, like colors back in the past i used to like all these colors i had a, a green sofa so but my my taste has kind of changed and i think that if anything i would still keep all the natural woods but i would probably do more of white uh neutral beige and gray so i'm actually going to get a gray sectional moving in that vein and this sectional that we have down here in the living room i'm going to put this upstairs in our bonus room and I'm gonna have that to be our movie and TV thing like when we first moved here years ago we never used to even watch television in our living room my living room stayed thick and span spotless and I want to go back to that I don't want to have to be picking up things in my living room you never know when somebody's going to ring the doorbell and company's going to pop up um not so much now with COVID because people are being more cautious. But still, you like your front room to be inviting. And I have an open concept. So it's really important to keep my downstairs really, really nice and clean. So the bonus room, I think, is where we're going to kind of watch TV. Unless we're having something down here and we need to socialize, then I'll be using this TV that's on the wall in the living room. Um, my husband's going to take this TV that's in my kitchen down where is it see it right there we've had that tv for so many years my mom bought every last one of them televisions like this when they were little i've had that tv that long it is finally kaput so he's going to take that down and um i probably will put another tv up there maybe i don't know maybe not i, I probably won't because a lot of times I use my Alexa in here and so forth. So I probably won't. But anyway, let me finish up this video. Because I got off track. So this is the Pioneer Woman. And look, y'all. I bought myself for $15 a jumbo um, pan. It has the lid, glass lid. It's a 4.5 quart uh, pan. And it is a pretty teal. They had them in gray. Choco gray and teal. And I said, I don't know why I only bought one. But I am going to go get another one. I'll show y'all what it looked like though. So this is my little Christmas gift to myself. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get me another one. Pretty sure. Hang on a second, y'all, because my son got to take this back. Okay, so there's the bag. Yeah, after I move, not right away. Oh, so you want to take it or leave it? I'll take it, but I'm saying. Okay, cranberry box. juice. I mean, the receipt is in there. Uh huh. Cranberry juice is on the other side of the box. A cranberry juice and get some waffles for Avery. I forgot to get waffles when I went grocery shopping. Look at this pan, y'all. And nice and deep. Okay. 
So that's why I said I know I'm going to go get me another one. If I was feeling up to it, I would go today. But I am not. But I'm going to get me another one. Look at that. That is nice. 15 bucks. So, and it's my pretty blue that I like. So I think I'm going to get me a, uh, here I think. And look, she puts, re-puts, that's her name. She puts recipes in her stuff when you buy like her pots and stuff. So she has a chicken florentine and mac and cheese, skillet chicken lasagna, potato soup, chicken pasta, chicken toilet soup, um, dump cake. She got a cherry pineapple dump cake. Oh, that might be good to make for Christmas. And then she got a knock you naked brownies but yeah so this is Ree back here if you don't know who the pioneer woman is and I love her stuff and so this is care God how to take care of it but yeah so I'm glad I bought that that was $15 y'all so I'm going to go back and go get that and I'm going to go back and go get the teapot that I swore I think the teapot was $13. And then this right here, I bought, this is a Secret Santa gift. Okay, these are bowls, the mixing bowls. And it's three of them in here. Now, you can get the ones with the flowers and everything. But I, I, I'm not really a flower girl. So, um, I got the solids. But I think I'm going to keep this one. From um, myself, I don't know. I asked my mom if she wanted these or not, but I don't remember what she said. Um, so I may have to pick up. So I'm gonna keep this one probably for myself because it has the lid and it's red and green and so forth and that blue. And I like the fact that they are um, they're hard plastic, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. And they're BPA free, non-slip bottoms. So, and they chip and stretch resistant, and they're non-slip bottoms to keep the bowl in place. So, and it also protects countertops. It says. So you know how you stirring, and maybe you making pancake mix, and your bowl is sliding all over the place. This stays put. So, real cute. Thirteen dollars. You can't beat that. And I wish I had a picture of the teapot. I'm going to get the teapot. I collect teapots. I love teapots. So I'm going to get it. It's a pretty blue. It looks like a Carolina blue. Now that has flowers on it. But I still like it. So I'm going to go back and get that. The teapot. Or I may send my husband to pick it up. When he tell me he heading back this way. That's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me show you what else I got. So, me and my mom got this from Burlington. And it was $7.99. see if I can take this off. But I love to have the cutting boards. You can never have too many cutting boards. I use them all the time when I'm cutting up my fruit for my juicing. Um, I have to wash that. But it was $7.99. But I like the color. I like the shape of it. Right? Cute, right? Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to put that over there with my other things. Now, where's my scissors that my son bought me? He bought me some scissors. Hang on a second, y'all. So I He was like, here, Ma, here's some cutting shears for you. What did I do with them? Did somebody come and get my scissors and didn't put them back? And that's why I don't have them in here? I have to check and see. 
where the dog and scissors is at, y'all, because I don't even see the scissors. Come on. Where's the scissors that you bought me? They always get me stuff, y'all. But they always borrowing it too after they get it from me. Yeah, I don't see them in here. And they're supposed to stay in the kitchen. Anyway, I have to find them shears. So, uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is me and my mom. I don't know if I showed y'all these, so just in case I didn't. I have a picture here. Picture frame. Move my water out the way. It says, True Love has four paws. I got this from uh, Walmart. And I got, in my mind, the perfect picture that I want to put in this picture frame. So, I'm going to take a picture of Bishop and Willow. Hopefully, she'll cooperate with these little sweaters on that I got from Walmart that says spoiled. So, I'm going to do that for them for Christmas. And hopefully, I can get her to cooperate and be still. For the dog on picture, because you know I already told y'all that she's ratchet. <laughs> um, another thing I bought, so I bought some gnome hand towels. You know, it's the gnome theme in here. I love gnomes. I think they're so cute. Now I don't like them outside my house, <laughs> looking crazy, but I do like them, especially the Christmas gnomes. So, this, and then I got a pot. Okay, keep on. Give it to me. Leave it here. Take the what off? Well, why are you doing that right now anyway? Okay. So, also, y'all, I got... Some Christmas hand towels. I mean, not hand towels. Dish towels. I got a red one up there now that I'm using. But I got red, green, white. And then this pretty green here. They're like $6.99 from Kohl's for the whole set. Okay. And then I got... Me and my mom both got these same shoes here. Y'all... <laughs> Just because we had to. They were $60. Okay. They are so comfortable. When I say they got a memory foam in here. They are so comfortable. My husband probably will not like them. <laughs> he don't like boy type shoes for females. Anything that looks like it's a unisex. He don't really care for it. But... I'm the one wearing them, so. But they're by Bob's. They also have, like, the shoes. I don't know if you know about Bob's, but what Bob's does, the owner of this, is that they help with Petco Foundation. So they help when they um, give money to people who are impacted by natural disasters and poverty. And then they also help with giving money to um, donations for shelters, for cats and dogs. So every time you buy a pair of their shoes, money is donated for that. And uh, so, yeah. But like I said, these were $60. I got them from Rack Room. And my mom got a pair, too. It was buy one, get one, half off. And let's see what else. Because all this stuff got to go upstairs. Um, okay, so last on my list is at Burlington, and you know what, this was the first time me and my mom went inside this Burlington, we was going crazy, we seen so many cute things in that store, it was so, so cute, so, let me show you, oh, Speaking of Pioneer things, this, I also, this was a Pioneer woman. I got this. This was a Pioneer woman fine as well. 
I just like her stuff. Okay, so I got this right here. I was going to get two of them, but it was getting kind of expensive with all the money I was spending. So I was like, Tanya, slow down. This was $19.99. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I am going to put the put this on my coffee table. This right here, my coffee table. But I'm kind of thinking I should get another one. And Ma, if you watch this video, you know what I'm getting ready to say. Because I'm getting ready to buy these bookshelves, these bookcases. And I can put one on one and one on the other. And put something in here. Okay? So like I said, this was $19.99. So I'm probably going to go back and get another one of these. But for right now, since I have one, me and my mom both bought these decorative vase fillers. And they're potpourri. It smells so good. You can put this in baskets. You can put this on your table as a centerpiece. I'm going to put this inside this hurricane light here. Also, I bought another one of these. Um, this was $3.99. And they had some good prices. Now, this I said, I'm going to wash this out. But let me show you over here. Did you got to go potty? Okay, so this right here, let me move all this stuff out the way. I have these canisters that I got from Walmart a while back. So, I'm thinking I'm probably going to keep this here. Because I had originally bought this as a candy jar. But, y'all, guess what I found out? I was looking under my cabinet to get the urine stuff. To wipe up um, when she had had an accident. And y'all, I found that I had this ball one that I bought. I had my dishwasher pods in there. But if you watch my videos, you will know. Uh, you want to make sure you spray. Um, if you watch my videos... You will know that I don't use my dishwasher. I actually keep my extra lids and skillets and all that inside there. So these pods is the last of what I have. I don't use them no more because I had them all in the jar decoratively. You know what I'm saying? But I don't use it. So I am going to rinse this out and I'm going to have this to be my candy jar. And... I was going to get a Christmas candy jar, but then I said, then I can only take it down when it's Christmas time. So I have brought some candy. I have some chocolate. Um, speaking of chocolate, my husband got this from his job. Oh my gosh, he said, he boy, it's called C's. Let me show you the back. C's candies. And you can go to C's.com and get this candy. It's kind of expensive. But he got me this box here of truffles. This is not going in that. This is, I'm keeping it in my room. But y'all, I have these loose things, a bag of them. And I'm going to put them in here with the other candies. And then I got some Reese's peanut butter cup that I bought to put in there as well. So that's all going in there. And last on my list here y'all know if you know anything at all your girl love mugs okay I had three mugs I was going to buy <laughs> and I put two back <laughs> so I ended up I had to get one this one was $3.99 see before I peel it off $3.99 and it says, what, what, what? God is good. Yes, he is. God is good all the time. Okay? So, y'all know I have a mud, mug fetish. I love mugs. I feel like you can never have enough mugs. I have a fit when I go and look at my cabinet and somebody has cracked or chipped my mug. Oh, my God. I be so hot, y'all. Like... 
For real, for real. I'll be so upset. But. I wash that out. I like the color of it. It's neutral. I got mugs at my job that I have. That I bought. That I just like what it says. And then I have my company jars that I use and so forth. But yeah. But here's the mug that says God is good. Alright. Okay. So. Let me show y'all real quick. Before I go, how this hurricane thing looks. Keep on what happened to the scissors that you gave me? Yeah, you know, Chuck, you took it back upstairs. I put it in there, I told you. Why are you just like this winter out, wintry outside? It's not even cold today. Yeah, and a hat. And a wool hat. Hold on. Come on, I just was outside getting something out of my car. It is not cold. Okay, so y'all, let me show y'all this. Okay. Now, if you don't think you're going to take that, I can leave that here for daddy. Oh, we're going to take it after you. That wasn't um, doing the work in the car right now. I was going to take the animal off. Let's see. I don't like this one. I don't like that one. Okay, so look. That's cute, right? That is so cute, and it's a natural look. I'm going to get another one, because I wasn't thinking. Ma, you should have told me. Why don't you get two of those and stop being cheap? I don't know why. Why I didn't get two. Now, I'm going to be hoping that they still have them. Because you know, you always regret that. You be like, I should have got two. Then you go to go look for it, and they gone. I got to take that sign, that price tag off since $19.99. Why it was $20, I don't know. But they cute. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and it's heavy. So, I definitely must have been tired. Because, decoratively speaking... When Christmas is over, these two on my table are going to look so nice. You see where I'm going with that? After I take these poinsettias on and I have these two on my table, that's going to look so nice. So I really, really, really should have gotten another one. So what I'm going to have to do is get another one. And then put them both on my table. Because I don't like a whole lot on my table. So after this is all said and done, I'm going to just put this on my table. And uh, yeah. All right. So that's it, y'all. I don't have nothing else except for this one last thing. I keep saying one last thing, one last thing. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Me and Avery was going to do these. Uh, so, a girl that works with me, y'all, she had to leave for health reasons. And she bought me some vegan cookies. Did I tell you about this? I don't think I did. Um, but if I did, you can go ahead and click off the video at this point. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. But she... Bought some vegan cookies for me. They were so good. She gave me the recipe for it. And then she gave me this plate platter. And it says, thank God for the Christmas presents. Like your presents, not gifts, material things. Of family, friends, and Jesus. Right? And that's all we really want. We want to have... Our family by us, close friends, good friends, 
and the Lord. Right? Without those things, no gift in the world really truly can compare. All right, y'all. So, that's it for me. Like I said, this is Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day number 12. All right, I love you to the moon and back. Be good, be kind, be blessed. Mwah. Peace.